Hey, I'm just going to do a quick um, tutorial on how to create a um, background map for Simplot 2. Alright. What you do is you go to this Google Map Styling Wizard, mapstyle.withgoogle.com. Alright, we just click through on this. One of the first things to do is just turn the roads off. Turn the landmarks off. Turn the labels off. And what I tend to do is click the night theme just to get things going. Click more options. Water. Fill. Color. 70. 70. 70. Turn that on. You see the color, the watercolor changed. And then we click on landscape all color 85 87 71 this should be the Aegis um, color scheme as used by the Simplot 2 developer um, then we click this full screen mode and at this point we can go pretty much anywhere in the world. Let's pick a hot spot. Uh, you know, for example, it's getting a little hot over in this region right now. So if you wanted to make a map of this, the Greece, Turkey operational area, if you will, uh, just do this. I usually put my hand up here, take a screenshot, get out of it, and then I use whatever program you want to use for general purpose editing, but I tend to use paint, just so everybody's got it, right? And I crop it, I usually crop it like right here, I, I can't figure out a way to get rid of any of this other stuff otherwise, so I just crop it like this, and get it all the way down to here, control C to copy, control N for new, boom, boom, done. Greece, Turkey, operational area, whatever you want to call it, PNG, I usually keep them as PNGs, it's a little crisper than JPEG compression, and now we have a map. I'm not going to pretend to know the scale yet on this one. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, let me show you how on Google Earth I would get the scale. So what I usually do is take like a uh, relatively straightforward island, this is this island right here. So let's go to um, Google uh, Earth real quick, and we'll try to get a scale on this too. Oops. This is how I get scales for Simplot Maps. It's a little bit too initialized. Alright, so let's go to Greece. Let's go to that island we were looking at. Let's try to get a width of it from there to there, right? The way you do that is on Google Earth, go to Google Earth, go to where you want to, go to like an island or something that's easy to go width-wise on. Take the distance marker, make sure you have it in nautical miles, and then go click. Click, so it's about 10 miles, 10 nautical miles across that. Yeah, I mean, it's rough, but there's a good 10 nautical miles um, uh, west to east for, on that island, a lot of Greek island there. So what I do is I usually just get this away. We know it's 10 nautical miles. So then what we would do is go here in crop mode and paint, and then what you're going to try to do is measure the width in pixels. So that's 36 pixels. Let me try to get better accurate. It's about 35 pixels. So you want to get pixels per mile. So uh, you just take your calculator and you do, what was it, 35 pixels 
And it was 10 nautical miles. Is that what we had? Yeah. So 3.5 scale, I think. So then what you do is you put it the map. So what we want to do is we want to put the actual map image into the into your maps folder of your simplot2. And then we want to create a file. And what did we just come up with? We came up with 3.5 pixels per nautical mile. So that's 3.5 here. We're going to rename it to be the same. It's usually best to just name it the same as the Let's do file, save as, uh, what did we just call it? Greeks Turkey OA. Let it be text. And then we need to change this to the scale is good but okay so now everything's set and then we go to simplot and we do a file new scenario let's just say it's Greece Turkey okay Whatever. give it a start time 0900 and we go get that Greece Turkey OA text file which describes the scale and which image to use and hopefully this works and there we go we are now in a scale. Let's make sure the scale is good. And we said that was about a 10 nautical mile scale for that island. So as you see, boom, 10 nautical miles. Not too bad. Pretty close. Um, there you go. Now you have a quick uh, Aegis style colored map in Simplot 2. And it only took, what, a few minutes here? 10 minutes maybe? Um, that's it. That's how you do it.